So, day one, early morning start. Welcome to Hakuba Goryu. This is the first day that we've had on snow here and I've got to be honest, I made a complete balls up. I was meant to go to Hapo One, was walking there and the ski shuttle turned up. Got on, thought, ah, oh, where's it gonna go? Actually came to this place, Goryu, rather than Hapo One. But it's on the same lift pass. I was gonna come here anyway, so I thought, let's check it out. What do you need to know about Hakuba Goryu? Well, it's twin with Hakuba 47, so we're gonna head over there in a little bit. 18 trails, 14 lifts, and some really, really nice groomed runs. You can probably see just behind me here, um, Moguls is a pretty big thing as well. So there's some terrain which is completely left, and some which is purposely moguled for competition. some really nice terrain, some nice steep blacks for uh, your advanced riders, but some really, really nice cruising blues. Been having so much fun just cruising the blues this morning, it's been brilliant. Um, there wasn't fresh snow overnight, which has meant that uh, most of the powder or japau that we came to uh, explore has been tracked out, but that's okay. There is still pockets where you can find it. So had a little bit of a play through the trees. There's no lift queues. Um, not many people out here on the slopes. It's been a really, really nice morning. Gonna go fresh, then probably head back up, go to the very top. So the base lodge here at Goryeo is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it has everything that you'd expect from a ski resort base, but also a few things that you don't like a place to nap should you have worn yourself out on the slopes. You can get all of your rental gear in there. I'll put the prices somewhere on the screen, uh, but also you can buy some stuff. They've got a Burton store and a couple of other local stores which have got uh, a different range of brands in there. So there's plenty to check out. So one of the things that's really nice about Goryeo is you could be stood on like double black diamond terrain, but just over there, just beyond the trees, you've got a uh, green run. So actually, like if you're here with a family or friends of different ability, you can take whichever run suits you best and then meet up at the bottom. One of the problems that you might come across at the resorts in Hakuba Valley is a sign like this. You look past the barrier, you see absolutely incredible ski and terrain, nice trees, nice fresh snow, but club member only. Uh, I think there's a way that you can actually join the club by doing a course. Uh, so if you're going to do that, make sure you do it early on and don't do it on a POW day. Because on a POW day, everybody wants to do the courses and they're pretty much booked out. So currently at the point of Gorio, where it meets Hakuba 47. So let's go and see what Hakuba 47's got to offer. So all in all, it's been a fantastic day at Gorio. Managed to have some nice pieced runs, some stuff that's a little bit more challenging, like some double black diamonds, more ungroomed terrain. Had a pop over to Hakuba 47, but I'm gonna save that for another video. If you've enjoyed watching this resort review, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions about Goryeo or any of the other resorts here in Hakuba Valley, just drop it in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.